Hello. Happy Saturday afternoon. Welcome to Chocolate One. My name's Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Tour, and we've got a couple of things we're going to do today. So first off, let's <clears throat> do some of our business. If you're watching, please like and subscribe like and follow my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Beth Hitchcock Chocotour, and um, leave me a comment, smash those heart buttons, and most importantly, share this with, a, with your other crafty DIY friends. I'm going to, hasn't come up over here yet. There it is. I'm going to share this with our VIP group. So I said, I think it was last week, that I would show you guys how to clean your ink mats. Um, you know, we stick all of our fabric down on there, all the fuzz stays on there, the ink that we use stays on there, so they get pretty messy. So what I've done is I have sprayed these down with a, a glass cleaner. I think any glass cleaner will work. And I did it about five minutes ago, so five, ten minutes, let it sit on there. Happy Saturday, Barb. And now I'm going to take the paste scraper and we're going to, and these are old ink mats, so we'll see if this works. I'm going to see if we can scrape up any of that old fiber that's sticking on there. Yeah, these are old. These are my first ones, so they may not be salvageable, but I thought we'd try and see. Not really seeing a lot coming up. There's a little bit of gunk there. I went online into um, Chocotour on my back office, it's called, and checked, and they, their recommendation is to clean it with water, not a disinfectant wipe. So like right there, I don't think there's any stick. But I think I did clean, before I knew that, I think I did clean it with a disinfectant wipe. So let's see if we have any stick left on this mat. Got some fiber, some lint up off of it. Got the old ink off of there for sure. Okay, we'll let this dry and we'll see if we rejuvenated any of the stick on that. Let's work on this one and see. Still kind of feel. I think the other thing I did was I used a board eraser and I don't think you want to do that because it leaves little pieces of the sponge stuck to it. Let's try this one and see if we have any better luck. This one seems to be scraping up more gunk. Oh yeah. You see the stuff on my scraper lit from old projects? Takes that old ink up nicely though, that's for sure. So here's some of the stuff that's stuck to that <clears throat> that will prevent your project from sticking. Let's push it off onto the <clears throat> self-healing mat. We'll wipe that down. better than it was. So <clears throat> my mistake was using the um, disinfectant wipes on it. That will remove your adhesive off of your mat. You don't want to do that. Let's let these dry and see if we, if we have any stick on them. Some more of that ink off there. We're gonna we're gonna do an inking project today. Let's see if we can try those a little bit. 
Let's see what happens. Now I'll get my other ink mats out. You might have to get the other ink mats out. Oh, this one I think rejuvenated it. Oh, okay. It's a split on the bottom, so. <clears throat> well, I use this quick drying tool for everything, I'll tell ya. It feels, it feels pretty sticky. It's, it's, it, there we go. So it, it did, it, it worked, because they were not very sticky before. All right. <clears throat> Can you guess what I did to this one? Why it looks like this? All kind of wrinkled? Who has a guess? Drop it in the comments. This was early inking for me, but that, it did it. You guys, it, it works. It rejuvenated my, my old, old ink mat. These were the first ones I bought. So yay. So that's the tip. So I just sprayed it with, um, I don't have it in here, a glass cleaner and let it sit for five or 10 minutes and then scraped it down with our paste scraper and it's got some stick back to it. Yay! Let's see here. Um, no, it's not water. Um, like Windex, glass cleaner. That's what I used. Hi Irene, how are you tonight? Okay, we're gonna, I thought I was gonna do a pillowcase, but I couldn't find a pillowcase. But I did find this cute little satchel, little bag. And I'm not exactly sure. I, it's got the handles over. I don't ex exactly know how this is supposed to go. Um, but we're going to ink it anyway. And I'll figure out, I'll figure out the closing part of it um, when we're done inking it. I I want it on this way. Should have brought the lint brush in here because it's got. Let me see if I can take this. I think it's got dog hair on it. <laughs> really don't want that sticking on our transfer. Let's see if I can get that off. It's been stuck in my drawer for a while. All right, I think we'll use this little square. So you can see this was one ink mat that. I cut, it was our long, oblong one, and I just cut it in half to make it easier for working with projects. I'll use this one. I'll stick it. And the reason I use an ink mat, we use ink mats when we're inking, is because ink is permanent, and I don't want the ink to seep through to the other side of the, pro of the bag. So that's one reason. The other reason is that um, with the stick, with the adhesive, we push it down and it holds our material in place. So, and that's a bonus. So we're doing Farm Charm. We did this one yesterday, and this was using the farmhouse tile and feels like home. We just put that in the center. And so today we're going to use Farm Charm and we're gonna do Farm up here and get that little greenery in up there. And then I thought, let me see how far down everything is set. Pretty good, yeah. And then I thought we'd see if we could fit the horse in the middle and then put charm down here. I thought that would be cute. So let's get to inking. 
These are available in my back office in the store right now. They may be retiring, that's why I'm showing you them. So let's put, let's get this centered here. And you notice that I didn't fuzz this before. So when I put it on fabric, you don't fuzz your uh, transfer. You want it to stick really good. You want a really good seal there with that. That feels good. And we're gonna so we're gonna do the words in black and the cow or the cow or the horse, whichever one we choose, in black. And then I'll just put a little bit of um, pesto on the little branches here. So I think that looks, with the branch there, I think that looks fine. So let me grab a squeegee. So ink is permanent. We'll open this one up too. This one has not been used in a while. The inks don't, typically you don't have to thin your inks down. Um, they stay pretty, pretty um, creamy, which is what you want. But you want to get something wet for your fingertips. I don't know if you've watched me. If you're new, if you haven't watched me before, I tend to get ink and paste all over everywhere. We'll grab another squeegee to have ready for our... Maybe we'll do a multi-purpose tool for that. So what I like to do with ink is get it on my squeegee, and then start above where you see the word, the, the letters, that's where the silk screen is. So I like to start above that, and I try to go one direction. And this will be a cute bag to take to the farmer's market. I thought I had a, a lumbar pillow somewhere. I may, just didn't spend a lot of time looking for it. And then I'm just gonna skin it back off, put the excess back in my jar, <clears throat> and we'll get our little branch over here. Try not to pull any of that black into it. <clears throat> it's pretty right to the edge there. Push it down and see. I think I got it. If you weren't too sure about how to do that, you could tape these off with some placement tape or wa uh, washi tape so you didn't accidentally chalk that. Now what we're going to do is pull it up slowly so I can reapply any ink if I need to. The M needs a little bit more. It's pulling up off my ink mat though. I don't like that. Fingers. There we go. And just go very slowly pulling it up. That looks really good. Okay, there's farm. Okay. Now I'm gonna set this, I'm just gonna hang it off the side of my table here. 
and we'll dry this a little bit and then we'll put the horse on. Now heat set this. I'm probably, most likely I'm going to let this, um, I like to let it dry overnight. I like to let it dry overnight. I'm just trying to dry it a little bit in case the adhesive from the horse gets onto the fresh ink and <clears throat> doesn't pull it up. Ink takes quite a bit longer to dry than the chalk paste. Oh, so when I showed you the ink mat that was kind of like this, Waverly, um, I accidentally heat set uh, with that ink mat in there. When I was, when I first started chalking, I was doing a lot of aprons for gifts. And uh, I'm lucky it didn't melt onto my apron. The apron was fine. But um, it did put a bend in my, my ink mat for sure. So that feels really good. Okay, let's get our little horse on here. I think I like the horse, the cow, and the pig the best. Let's see here. So this is even. We'll put his back. We have a lot of horse people uh, where I live in this in the valley that I live in. A lot of horse ranches. They have a big Clydesdale horse ranch um, just down the road from us. And the, um, what is, which beer is it? Uh, Budweiser. The Budweiser, uh, the big, three big red trucks came down. I think it was around Christmas time. And I think they were bringing Clydesdales over to the ranch. All right, so let's get this little cutie patootie. And you just use a light pressure with your inking. Not pushing very hard at all. Put your excess back in. Save that for next time. The ink will last you a very long time. And then we'll go through and skim this off. And we will, again, pull up very, make sure my fingers are clean. We'll pull up really slowly. Let's get his rump a little bit better there. Uh, neck. I think it's, you know, I think the fabric absorbs <clears throat> the ink at different rates. And it depends on um, how hard you, you're, the pressure you're using. That's okay. Let me get this leg here a little bit better. good. He's cute. Okay. I'm going to have a squirt bottle of water today. I'm going to put this. We're done with the horse. I'm going to spray him off on my towel down here. So I just have an old bath towel and I'm just going to spray the water on it just so the ink doesn't dry in my silk screen there. And then we'll clean that up when we're done. So let's dry our horse and then we'll put charm on there.
<laughs> yeah, did you do that too, Bob? Uh, awesome. Oh, oh, okay, I'm glad. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Irene. Your cats. <laughs> I got that done in my self-healing mat because the heat took... On the self-healing mat, Barbara, or on the ink mat? Because my, I've done that on my self-healing mat, and it just it flattens right back down. At least mine did. I don't know. All right, that's good. All right, let's get charm up here. Let's see. This is going to... press that green in there. I was thinking about putting that green there, but I don't, <clears throat> now I don't know if I want it. I think I'll just, I think I'll ink the charm, the word charm, and then see if I want that little branch in there or not. Let's push my air out though, really good. anybody's interested I have extra um, I have two extra of these transfers if you want to message me see how that looks and see if I want to put that little branch down there it needs I would like it facing the other way is the thing I could could do a reverse transfer with it I might try that this is just gonna be a shopping bag for me so if it messes up it's okay oops boy that was a lot of ink on my finger there so really make sure you're checking your fingers because anywhere you touch and you have you have ink fingerprints, it's pretty likely it's going to stay there. of this H a little bit here. And it's got some natural distressing in the lettering. That looks cute. Okay. I like that. Um, we have to clean this first if I'm going to do that. We could try doing that though. We can try doing a reverse transfer so you guys, I don't think I've ever done that on live before, but let me hold this up and show you what we have so far. Isn't that cute? Just simple. I like it. Very cute. But I'd like the, the, the little olive branch to go this way, like this. So let me clean this transfer and we'll see if we can get that to work.
move this one off of here for a minute. Move this over here to the side. So reverse transfer is when you uh, do your casting or inking on the sticky side of your transfer. So it's the mirrored image of the design. have to have a clean transfer to start with. These squirt bottles, they just <clears throat> they just never last. This was a new one. It just already feels like it's not wanting to squirt too well. So if you're new to my if you're new to my um, page here and you don't know about Chocolate Couture, I want to tell you about Club Couture, the really great special we have going on for the month of February for new club members. And what club is, you get a Eight and a half by eleven transfer, three coordinating paste packets. Um, it's mailed to your house, free shipping. And then anything else you buy is uh, four ninety five shipping. And this month, you're they're giving you um, five free transfers of previous last year's. Um, club tour transfers and there's just some really great ones so if you want information about club let me know I'd love to sign some club members up so I would like to get like a monthly club demonstration where we all get together like on zoom or something like that and craft I think that would be a lot of fun Boy, that's squeaky when I do it this way. Okay, all right, let's clean. Got it nice and clean, that's for sure. Now let's just, it's time to wash this towel too. Let's dry this and see if we can get that other little leaf on there. So you can use this tool to dry your transfers after you wash them. You don't want to use uh, a hair dryer on a heat setting or your heat gun or your embossing gun because you'll melt your transfer. But this is a low enough heat where it's good. You can you can do this. Just kind of a quick way to get it done. I just want to really make sure that silk screen is dry when we're going to use it. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky, but it can be done. So we're going to turn the transfer sticky side facing me. Let's see if that feels dry. And let's try this a little bit. Although we could do it this way and it's it's facing down, I kind of like that too. No, I think we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it this way. Make it going up. 
So see how sticky that gets after you clean them? Okay. Wish me luck. I'm going in with my pesto. And I'm just going to really hold this in place. And apply my ink. And be really careful so it doesn't move because there's nothing sticking it down. There we go. Let's see how that did. Pretty good. I see I got a little edge there that's not too good. I might be able to take a paintbrush and kind of fudge that in there a little bit. But it did pretty good. Now let's get the ink off of this side. say not to use disinfectant wipes on your transfers. I it, I haven't, you can see my transfers are pretty sticky. I haven't had a problem. Okay, that's clean. Let's see what we can do to fix our little leaf there. That was not good. So our transfers, and they're reusable, you guys, um, eight to 12 times. So get those, get that use out of them. This is the top here. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> that's set aside. Now, so you can see down here, we've got a little bit of green on the edge right here, which is probably gonna be, mm, it's gonna be what it is. But let's see if I can take a little tiny paintbrush. This one is nice and stiff. Let's see if I can fill in this little area here. It didn't get laid down really well. This little tip of this leaf here. I don't know, we'll just, we'll do something to make it look like it's supposed to be there. There we go. Turned it into another little leaf. That's fine. Okay. All right. So this is going to dry. There's our, there's our bag. I think it came out pretty darn cute. Um, this is going to, I'm going to let this dry overnight and then I'll heat set it tomorrow. Um, I'll leave the ink mat in there while it dries overnight. I'll take the ink mat out before I heat set it. This transfer is still available. Sherry, I have some. If you want to send me a message, I'll get it shipped to you. Um, so yes, it's still available. And um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, I'll heat set this. It's cute. That would be a cute pillow, right? Yeah, I'll turn it into a pillow. Um, oh, I was saying I'll take the ink mat out. Actually, we could take the ink mat out now because it's um, pretty dry. And just let this dry overnight. I love it. I love it. Thank you. I tried putting heavy books on it to weight it down with not much luck. I called it a learning curve. Oh, shoot, Barb. I'm sorry. I wonder if you heated it up a little bit with your blow dryer and then put the books down on it. If that would make it more malleable and it would 
because really I have heat set on this this thing over and over again and it does kind of buckle a little bit but it just goes right back down so anyways you guys um I'll be back tomorrow and we'll chalk and talk and have some more fun and Sherry um, send me a message if you're interested in this transfer I'll get it out to you till we chalk and talk again take good care friends